Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we are looking at another mod, which is a remaster mod for the reticulated giraffe. Uh, and it's made by Nawaler, and uh, Nawaler is this mother that's just all around, he does it all, pretty much. Um, so, um, yeah, he's in generally makes good mud, so I'm intrigued by this, of course. And um, let's see, we have the picture here below me, you can see, where we have the one from Zupedia. It's the normal variation we have. We do not have a lot of color variations going on. We have this kind of uh, standard coloration, I would call it. And then we just have some features that are a little cartoonish, of course, because it is Planet Zoo and it is one of the older animals from Planet Zoo. So that's all to have something to do with it, of course. Um, and yeah, I don't think the original From Frontier is specifically bad. There is some that are worse, for instance, the Sand Cat. Very bad. But I, I do actually uh, enjoy the original here. And I have built for it multiple times. Um, normally as a savannah or something like that. So I haven't really paid much attention to it for as an individual animal. Um... I will say though, going over here, ooh, there, uh, to Frontier, as you can see, uh, sorry, to Nexus, where you can download the map. This is pictures now we all put out, and he made one new variant, as we can see down here. This is a lighter, paler, more orange variation. I will show you it when we get to it. Um, but he also changed the color morphs of the standard variations a little. Uh, so that will also uh, get affected, that, of course. Here you can see um, very much that we have a few issues. I'm not sure that gray spot here, what that is. Um, and I'm not even sure if I can. Can I zoom? Yes, I can. Okay, so we get it a little closer. It is not the best... Um, what's it called? It's not, not super... Pic it's a little pixelated, uh, so that's will affect it. And you can also see we have some of these lines going on. That's just is on this picture. I think it's something to do when they built the model that it's helping lines. So that's not what we look at. What we look at here is the things that have changed. And as you can see, they have both open mouth. But there's just some features that have changed. For instance, the bum up here have become bigger. The horn is a little more laid backwards, where this is a little more uh, directly upwards. Uh, the ears, I do not think, have the big change, but you can see the bone structure here underneath is also different. We also have a little more definition here of that vein line they have going on in the cheek. Uh, and in general, we have a few things going on. Um, the color, again, as I said, he has pigmented the standard variation more, so it does look darker. I think it's just because he made the color more strong, gave a bit more to work with, that it appears darker. But I do think, actually, it's kind of the same color, just more pigmented. Uh, the legs also seems a little bit different. Uh, for instance, this piece here is thinner. Uh, and then the light color down here is more as like a neutral or yellow tone where this is a little more peachy uh, going on. So we have quite a few coloration and then they of course have all of the pictures in here. And he also writes a little bit more about the mud down here as you can see. Uh, again, this mud requires accuracy always if you're gonna play with plant too much always start with Xy. It's on Nexus and it's easy to download. It's probably the most easy mod to work with at all. So get that first. So uh, yeah, here we are. The habitat here, I actually haven't put this speed build out there for it yet, but it's because it's made for the reticulated giraffe in future life sub-Sahara Africa. The video will get out tomorrow. 
Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a little spoilery, but um, we're gonna focus on the animals here. Uh, now some of them are wet because we have a lot of the spring claws going on in here. Um, but this is the base coloration, this one. And this one is the ones that we have. I think these are different. Uh, red, brown. Uh, red, brown. No, these are same color. It just seems that one is a little darker than the other. But the new coloration is this more yellow. Uh, orangey color that we have over here and I really really do appreciate it uh, as some of you guys know in 8th eighth, eighth grade I was lucky enough to get uh, to work as a school you have a week of school where you have to go and work somewhere to familiarize yourself with actually having a job and so and stuff like that in Denmark. And I was lucky enough to get a spot in Copenhagen Zoo and work there for a week. And the giraffe was actually one of the animals I was allowed to feed uh, one of the days. So uh, they mean a lot. They were really difficult to feed because everything where you put their food is very high and I'm very short. <laughs> so uh, there was a few things about that. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, these are weird. Uh, so that does affect it uh, a little bit. In general, we just have these facial features that makes it look more realistic and more alive, which I really do appreciate. The first texture is a little weird, but that's because giraffes have this kind of very fluffy but very f short hairs. So I actually think that they man uh, not really managed to get that really, really right. I also actually appreciate that the eyelids have this dark blackish coloration where a lot of the mothers and frontier make them this gray color that doesn't always fit. I think this darker coloration is better. Um, I would like a little to make that uh, shine a little bit in here so, so the nose holes would be like slimy but that's a personal choice i know a lot of people don't like to think about boogers on animals but they do have them oh we have something a little weird if you look down here when i move around it looks a little bit weird but it's not awful in any regards and looking here oh we have a cut down there as you can see here, the hairs here, I've cut off there and then continue here, which means these hairs here doesn't stick on anything. It's not something that I would complain about because would you actually notice if you just played the game? I highly doubt it. Uh, I will just mention this is a male. Uh, since they are bigger than the females, so it's just, yeah. They have these two big like chest pieces where they actually got re really really nice to work with it um i don't know what else to call them but chest pieces and the leg seems really good going down here the fur half this cut off that you know i do not like but specifically with giraffes because the hairs are so extremely short then it's not the same big issue as it would be if they had longer hairs down here. But it still looks a little weird. And here, especially from this angle, you can see the cutoff really, really clearly. Tails are something that we have to talk about. Again, this part I do not have an issue with. We have a weird line, though, going on there. Right there. But again, it's something you wouldn't notice if you just play the game. Here we have the same issues where hairs are not attached. As you can see here, this should be the end of the hair that was stuck here. And then they would hang this way. They do not hang that way. They will always hang like what would be downwards if it was standing normally. Like this. And now we have these that are simply not attached. It's not awful. Like Frontier does this even with feathers on their own animals, so I'm not mad at it. But Nahuel are, are really good at a lot of stuff, so I feel like he could do better with these. Uh, I do like these small linings where it kind of seems kind of like fat. Um, 
either fat or fur bending a little bit, depending on how they stand, which I do appreciate. Overall, I think they look good. And you can see here, again, account for some of them being wet. I really like that you can have different coloration in here working together. And at the same time, don't have to have the albino because I don't like the albinos. I don't like albinos that are pure white because a lot of albinos will still show off the patterns, especially on giraffes, with different colors of white-ish white. Um, but but they don't, they are just white and don't show up which tells uh, giraffes apart. Um, one thing is really the patterns that tells if it's one species or another. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all. Oh, we have the babies. Do we have a dry baby? You look like a dry baby. That's something I never thought I would see, say, but yeah. I'm actually not sure. He didn't specify on the website if he made new juveniles, but I do think he did. I feel like the eyes are a little droopy and a little big, so they are a little cartoonish, but it ha have that like inch of cartoonish that I like on babies, not on adults, but on babies. Um, looking at the fur texture here, I think he did make a new model, but again, these are not animals I normally have looked really close at in the game, so I'm not completely sure. Look at that fur texture. Again, these are not like the most amazing fur we've ever seen in the game, but it's really good to look like what it should look like. <laughs> Uh, again, you can make very impressive fur, but if it's not the fur the animal have, then it looks weird. We have a little bit going on out here. I think it's a combination with some lining here. You can see we have some lining with the model underneath and then the painted fur over it. And then a little bit of fluffiness issue. But overall, it looks good. It really looks good. So I'm happy about it. Oh. We can see the rig a little bit from this angle, but again, how many of you guys are gonna look at that angle when you play the game? So yeah, that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you for today, guys. And uh, as always, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.